Okay, hey viewers. So today I'm going to look at the TI Click EDC, which is a titanium click pen for everyday carry. And this pen is built by Big Eye Design or BigEyeDesign.com. Uh, two gentlemen there, Joe and Chadwick, and they built this through Kickstarter, and a lot of their business has been done through Kickstarter. So I will look at what's inside the box. I'll go through that first, and then I'll talk about my impressions of the actual pen itself. Here's the box, Here there's the lid. And inside the box, right away, we've got a thank you card, which is quite nice. Join our newsletter to get $5 off of your next order of 50 or more. That's really nice. So put that off to the side. Then we got some instructions here. Uh, TI click EDC pen changing refills you can unscrew this is the imaging on how your re the two different types of refills how you would adjust them I'm not going to go through that quite yet um, some help you can go to their YouTube channel if you want um, yeah it's a nice little card nice paper stock I'll put that there um, so we got some spare parts. It looks like we got two rings, two O-rings. And I'm imagining this, I haven't really gone through the pen itself and or those videos, but I'm imagining that would go within the pen on the back part. Um, I may be wrong. So nice little bag of spare parts. And my understanding is this, and the key, this is a, um, uh, like a, for keys or a key ring, I guess is what the name is. You would use this to remove the clip. So if you needed to straighten your clip, fix a bent loose pocket clip. This is the two tools that you would use. So I, there's your hole, you would stick this in here for torque, and then there's your tool you would end up twisting to unlock in the, um, the clip, to get take the clip off of the pen. I saw a video, they have a video online for that as well. So if you um, wanna take a look at that, you can. And here's the pen. Now the pen, you were three different choices. You could have chosen black, stone washed which is a gray and or raw titanium and i chose to go with raw titanium and believe it or not it was harder than like these pens look really nice and this one looks lovely once i get it out of the plastic I'll take that down there yeah wow this is a really nice pen so this is the raw titanium uh, my first impulse is to click it oh that's really smooth not even a single click it feels really um uh, mechanical almost to the point that it, you would it almost feels like there's grinding on some level like you could tell like metal is touching metal here that's interesting I wonder how I'd, I'd like to take that apart and see what's going on nice uh, nice clip here it says TI on it I don't know if you can see that the camera can see there it is um, and that's really the only markings that they have on the pen so you notice there's no big idea design there's no logos all of those logos are on the box over here, it just says TI, like titanium. This is a titanium clip and a titanium pen. And on the end of the pen, I'm not sure if this is gonna focus correctly or not, maybe against the black background, there's a little rubber ball. So you can see I haven't used this yet. I just wanted to show you what came in the box. And then I'm gonna go use it, and play around maybe for a day, and then I'll come back and finish this video. So I'm back. Uh, I've had a few days now to use the pen, um, and I have a few other impressions and a few other things that I'd like to talk about. Because the style that's in here is a little shorter, I'm finding when I use the pen that the clip itself, for naturally over time, will start to hit my finger, and it just hits my finger in an, in an interesting spot. Now, of course, I could flip the pen upside down. That's a little awkward. I generally find that I'm using a pen that's upright, but for some reason, this flips over and as the edge, not that the edge is sharp, but it does have a little bit of a rougher side to it. It just sort of irritates my hand a little. When I put a different refill in here and it takes it a little longer, like half an inch longer, I find that my, my fingers are in a different spot and, and I don't notice it. It doesn't, it doesn't uh, go down as much. So I, I do like the longer not a crazy long pen, but I would like to see this just a tad bit longer. I find it a bit short. I like the fact that if you twist this bottom portion, you can choose with the pen wiggle, you can actually choose how far out you would want the pen to go. And that uh, plays with those two O-rings that you saw in the unboxing, which is in here. And I will, oops, I will take this apart so you can see that. But it also plays into the part that you can make this longer and shorter. My biggest complaint about the pen has to be the clicking motion. Now, I'm going to click it. I'm going to try and be quiet. I'm going to click it a few times to see if you guys can hear. I'll try my best to bring this closer. Um, there, that's in focus. So I'll be quiet here for a moment and so you can hear. So there's no clicking noise. That doesn't bother me. I'm not much of a fidgeter. 
I'm not like uh, Boris from Goldeneye in 007 who's constantly clicking, <laughs> clicking his pen. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, I just don't need a pen to make a clicking noise. But there is something satisfying about clicking a pen um, to recognize that it is on. And I find with this one, there is a bit of a squeak to it, but it almost feels like it's just metal, like right there. It just, there's a resistance that it almost feels like there's a grinding going on not a smooth action. And I have noticed, if we look down on this end, that as I'm clicking it, it it's a little, I don't know, it's just not smooth. Now that may be to, be to some form of lube that maybe I can put in here. And if Chadwick and Joe, if you guys do see this, uh, send me a message, either leave a comment to viewers below, send me a message, a private message, and or if I don't hear from you on here, I'll, uh, I'll maybe reach out in Kickstarter to find out and maybe post an update later on about how to, how to uh, resolve that little uh, delay, but that's that's my big thing. I have noticed though, I have pushed it and it hasn't done anything. It hasn't even retracted, like it, like this. There you go, I just did it. See, it's stuck, it's stuck like halfway in between. It's not fully there. So I think there's something to do with the lube down here. And that's, that's really my only complaint, and of course the length, but that can be changed. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna take the pen apart. I'm going to uh, show you how to put a different ink cartridge, or sorry, I just wanted this to be a printer for some reason, uh, to, to put a different pen refill in, or ink refill, and then you will notice the size difference. So this is going to be here. The pen that I'm going to uh, use, I've actually finished the ink on this, and this was my girlfriend's pen. She didn't really like using it. Uh, it's a Japanese pen. It's a Pentel Energel with a 1.0. So nothing super fancy. She got it in Japan when she was traveling to write in her journal. And she came home and she really didn't care for it and I started using it and absolutely loved the way that the ink hit on the page and just loved the feel of the pen. And so of course I used it. So I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna take the gel, uh, the, um, the ink out with, uh, from within it and then I'll come back and we can um, and do the same with the uh, titanium pen. Okay, so here is the ink uh, that I've dried up. This is what the pen tail would look like. And there is some writing on it. I'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to see that. I'll try my best to see if that focuses. It says pen tail 1.0, uh, looks like it's an L L R O Japan. And then there's a number on the end. I'm gonna put this down here and then I'm gonna take this pen apart. So the way they take this pen apart, the click pen, the TIC, is you just start to turn this lovely end part until you start to see some O-rings. And if you remember, I showed you some O-rings that were in the unboxing. I wasn't sure what they were for, but you should see them shortly. There's the first one and there's the second one. So if those were to ever go, if it were ever to get loose, this is what those O-rings would be for. As I pull this apart, this is the top piece. It's got some threads on it, it's quite light. And then there's your end. Here's your spring and I'll take the spring and ink out. And then this is the end piece. Now, the end piece, I'm gonna push the cap all the way down. Pushing the cap all the way down, when I put another piece in, depending on the length and screw it in, it's going to adjust accordingly. If I left that open, it may not actually work properly. I may have to redo it. So you push that end in. I'm gonna take the spring off. And of course, this is the pen. It's a Schneider Gelin 39. And it's okay. It's not my favorite, but it's okay. I will definitely use it. This is made in Germany. So I'm gonna put that one here and then I'm gonna rebuild it with Again. this. So I put the spring on the ink. I put the, push the bottom in, push that in, put the cap on, start to turn the cap to screw it in and just allow this process to screw on until you see. And then I want to just get the tip to where I want it, which I generally like it about there. So less pin wiggle and there's the pen working. And now it's much longer. And I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but that is that is like at least half an inch longer. So now uh, it's, it's, it's so much longer of a pen. That's not a good or bad thing. It just depends on what you like as pens. I, I, I personally like the length a little bit better. Um, shortness, I guess for EDC, if you're carrying this in your pocket would be better. Um, I generally don't, I carry this in my bag. And so my first impression is I really like this pen. I like the small logo, the titanium logo. I like the fact that you can put long and short uh, ink refills in here. Um, I like the adjustment for a pen wiggle. I think the size is probably a little bit too thick, but not crazy. Just for my taste, I generally like a little bit of a thinner pen, but it's not, it's not I wouldn't go wider than this. Um, so I like it. The only thing I don't like, which I've talked about a lot, is this little clicking button. Um, I like the click pens. 
It's just that I don't like this. I just don't like what's going on in there. It, that may change uh, once I figure out if there's a way I can solve the, the, the feeling of the click. Um, and beyond that, that's it. So if you like the video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, if you're, if you're interested in subscribing, hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna know more about this pen later on, you wanna see me do a recap video or anything about it, uh, hit me up in the comments below or send me a specific message.